This question says, Mr. Smith purchased 80 pens. He discovered that 15% of them were faulty. Now this question wants us to find out how many pens were good. So because he purchased 80 pens, that doesn't mean all of them are going to be good. We know this because the question says, Mr. Smith purchased 80 pens. He discovered that 15% of them were faulty. Now we know this word faulty, it means it was bad. In Creole, pabon. Spanish, no bueno. So we know that 15% of these pens were faulty. Now part A wants us to find out how many pens were good. So in order to find out how many pens were good, we know 15% were faulty. And because we have a percent, which is 15, we know percent is out of 100. So if 15% were bad, how many were good? To find out how many pens were good, we're just going to subtract 15% from 100%. Okay, now let's set this up. So we have 100%. Minus 15%. We're just going to bring down the percent symbol. Now we know 0 minus 5 can't go because 0 is smaller. So we're going to have to borrow. When we look to the tens unit, we know we can't borrow from the tens unit. Therefore, we're going to have to borrow from the hundreds unit. 1 is going to become 0. Now we have 10, but that's going to become 9. And 0 is going to become 10. So now we have 10 minus 5, that's going to give us 5. 9 minus 1 is going to give us 8. And because we have a 0, we don't have to write that. Therefore, 85% of the pens are good. Now that we know this information, the question says, how many pens were good? Now, even though we know the percentage, that's not the answer. So we found the percentage of pens that were good. But the percentage does not tell us the exact amount of pens that are good. In order to find out exactly how many pens are good, we're going to have to set the problem up to look like this. We're going to do total multiply by the percent. And when we say percent, we mean percent of the good pens because that's what we're trying to find. Therefore, the total number of pens are going to be 80, because that's what the question tells us. It tells us Mr. Smith purchased 80 pens. So we have 80 multiplied by the percentage, which is 85%. Now, there are a few ways you can do this. You can either convert this percent to a decimal, or you can convert it to a fraction. I'm just going to convert it to a fraction. And when we do this, we can say 80 multiplied by 85 over 100 and we know this 0 can cancel out with this 0 therefore we're left with 8 multiplied by 85 over 10 and now let's simplify this some more because these are two even numbers we can say 2 can go into 8 4 times and 2 can go into 10 5 times. Therefore, we're left with 4 multiplied by 85 over 5. Now, if you could have seen 20 can go into both of these, then you was good to go from the jump. We know these two numbers are divisible by 5, so we're just going to simplify that. We can say 4 multiplied, you know, 5 can go into 5 one time. And 5 can go into 85 17 times. Now we have 4 times 17 over 1. We can change this into a fraction by just putting this whole number over 1. Now we're just going to multiply the way we normally multiply fractions. We're going to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So we have 4 times 17. When we solve for that, we can say... 17 times 4. 4 times 7 is 28. We're going to put to 8 and carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. 
So we end up with 68 over 1, which we know can be simplified to 68. Therefore, the number of pens that are good are going to be 68 good pens. So this will be our answer for this problem. Therefore, out of 80 pens that Mr. Smith purchased, we know 68 of them are going to be good. Now for part B, it says, he sold the good pens for 50 cents each. How much money did he make? So Mr. Smith sold each good pen he has for 50 cents each. They want us to find out how much money he made. So we're just going to multiply the number of good pens he has by the price of one good pen, which is 50 cents. So let's set this problem up. We can write this as total number of good pens multiplied by the price of one good pen. So we know the total number of good pens are 68. So we're going to write 68 multiplied by the price of one good pen. And because it says he sold the good pens for 50 cents each, we know for every one good pen, he made 50 cents. So we're just going to write multiply by 50 cents. Now let's multiply. So we're multiplying a whole number by a decimal number. What do you think we should do? We're going to convert the decimal number into a whole number, multiply, and then put the decimal point back in our answer. So we have 50 cents. I'm just going to write 0 0.50 and we're going to move the decimal point over one, two places to the right. Therefore, we're going to end up with the decimal point being right here. So we end up with 50 with the decimal point, but we know we want a whole number. So we're going to drop the decimal point and just write it as 50. Now, remember, we must make a note that we move this over two decimal places. So I'm just going to write it underneath 50. So we moved it two decimal places. Now in our answer, we're going to have to move this decimal point back two places to the left. So let's multiply. Now we're going to be multiplying 68 by 50. Now when we set this problem up, we know we can set it up to look like this, 68 multiplied by 50, 0 times 8 is 0, 0 times 6 is 0, now we're just going to add our 0, 5 times 8 is 40, so we're going to put the 0, carry the 4, 5 times 6, that's going to give us 30, 30 plus 4 is going to give us 34. And when we add this, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0 again. And we know we're just going to be adding, we're just going to write back these numbers, which is 4 and 3. Now we aren't done just yet. We're going to now add the decimal point back to our answer. And when we add this back to our answer, we're now going to have to take it over two places to the left. So we're going to go 1, 2. So when we write this answer now, our answer is going to look like this. So we got 34, and we know the decimal point is going to be between 4 and 0. Therefore, this is going to give us $34. So Mr. Smith is going to make $34 when he sells the good pens at 50 cents each. Now don't forget to write your answer in the space provided. We're just going to write $34.